futures have picked up pace as up over 300 points and that's the reason our own markets are also moving into the green perhaps in anticipation that later in the evening the market will uh, you know trend into positive terrain the us markets that is but the rupee after seeing three consecutive sessions of decline has now shown a recovery from lows while bond deals too have slipped lata is here with all the details lata well there clearly is some kind of an exhaustion or a peaking off of the dollar rally it's i mean either flat or inches below it's uh, 114 and a half that it had touched it's like more closer to 14.05 this is also because a lot of central banks have intervened first the boj intervened the pboc has been intervening so it's there is a sense of you know enough it has run enough and there is a bit of a peaking off maybe temporarily so today we've seen many of the asian currencies okay or at least a handful of the asian currencies recovering the indian rupee has recovered so has the thai baht so has the korean won uh, but we must be aware that there can still be a potential of uh, reverses the chinese yuan has still been depreciating and since we export a lot uh, to that country and import even more from there uh, if the yuan depreciates uh, the deficit increases with china so we have to keep an eye we uh, the, the, uh, the rbi may actually prefer a gentle depreciation like the yuan but for the moment the point is that uh, asian currencies or the fin world of uh, currencies itself currency markets is catching its breath and uh, uh, there have been no sharp moves after that uh, uh, over the weekend move in the pound the bond markets as well in india are showing a decent recovery already yesterday we saw the 10 year spot yield recover a bit towards close because people had gone seriously short and they were covering shorts today we are seeing you know the uh, ois the overnight index swap market which is a very very liquid market which reflects uh, the mood of the market also seeing yields either peaking off staying flat like yesterday or falling off now why are they flat because already the one month ois is factoring in a 50 basis hike by the reserve bank now how much more is there for that yield to rise likewise the one year ois uh, already yesterday was reflecting 6.9 i mean that means the peak repo rate the reserve bank should be raising it all the way to 6.75 or 7 uh, that looks a little unlikely at this juncture so there was a bit of an overshoot and today we have seen all those yields also inching down by a couple of basis points we will have to wait and see because the us yields are still in uh, an upping mode uh, from 3.79 they moved to 3.82 overnight so there is still an upward pressure but at the moment uh, the indian yields seem to think enough is enough all right thanks so much lata for getting us all those details of course money market is on our watch list especially after rupee has comfortably found its position above uh, the 80 do uh, to a dollar mark now speaking exclusively at cnn news 18's town hall well the finance minister of the country nirmala sitaraman said that the rupee is holding well against the dollar and she added that india is much better placed than many other countries whose currencies have plummeted against the US dollar. Listen in. How Indian rupee, because of the strength of our macroeconomic fundamentals, is holding out well, and the rate at which other currency vis-a-vis -vis dollar has been, uh, rate of fall of other currency vis-a-vis -vis the dollar has been sharply much more than Indian rupee. So, uh, is that a consolation? Partly yes, because the strength of your economy speaks when you're talking about your exchange rate. And as a result, we are far better than many other countries whose currencies have fallen pathetically against the uh, US dollar. Now, what is our strategy? The interventions, if at all, which RBI makes using the in, uh, Indian Reserve, which I think nearly 75 billion has been used essentially to stop the fluctuations, the severe volatilities. RBI is not aiming at fixing the rate, exchange rate. The government doesn't believe in it. Dollar, uh, Indian rupee and its exchange rates, the uh, rate is also left to the markets to decide how it's going to float or uh, get fixated at some level. So RBI's intervention is more to avoid the fluctuation. The US Fed's action has an impact on all currencies. So 
we'll have to only be sure that the fluctuation is not going to be severe. On the one hand, some people do also speak that, you know, a falling rupee also helps uh, some people speak. I want that to be clearly understood, um, that a falling rupee helps in exports, whether it does or it doesn't. Theoretically, it may, but in today's condition, with the recession outside and demands not really being as adequately as it should be, even a fall in the rupee may or may not help our exports. We are all conscious of these basic facts. We'll have to keep watching. All right. Uh, well, that's the finance minister. Let's also listen in to what the DEA secretary Ajay said and the finance secretary TV Somanathan had to say on the recent rupee depreciation. Take a look. It is not a concern and is, uh, uh, the view which we are expressing is overblown. Because if you recall uh, that about two years back, when the reserves were of the same order, even then the discourse coming out in media, etc., and even by, and by even, uh, even other informed uh, uh, persons, was that we have adequate reserves when they were two years back. Now, yes, there has been a depletion because of the inflows have uh, come down and at the same time uh, the, uh, the trade deficit at a higher level. But I don't see as a, a concern. India has a fairly large reserves. It's an international phenomenon, nothing peculiar to the rupee. It's dollar rise, not rupee fall. Sir, but is that a worry for you? No. All right, lots of points.